I miss Animal Crossing, man. Back when it first came out, I played Animal Crossing New Horizons to death. For real, I got pretty hooked on this game, if you couldn't tell. But at this point, after more than a year, I've pretty much run out of stuff to do. At least, stuff that makes for an interesting video. But man, it's just been too long, I gotta play some Animal Crossing. Any of them. Luckily, a little while ago, I just happened to stumble across a copy of Animal Crossing Wild World while at a game shop. This was the second game in the Animal Crossing series, released for the Nintendo DS back in 2005. So this is an old version of Animal Crossing. And I thought, oh, uh, that can make for a fun video. You know, trying Animal Crossing without all the new improvements, Fofi's adventures in Wild World, blah, blah, blah. So I bought the game, popped it into my DS, and made a... Discovery. See, my copy of Wild World is used, which means someone else owned it and played it all the time back in the mid-2000s. Someone who forgot to erase their save file before trading in the game. This just got a lot more interesting. There's a whole town full of villagers here that have just been abandoned for probably over a decade. Okay, now I'm just too curious. So, change of plans. These are now Fofi's adventures in a stranger's abandoned Animal Crossing town. Oh, and before we get started, if you like the Animal Crossing videos that I do on this channel, be sure to hit the big red subscribe button below and ring the little gray bell next to it. That way you'll be notified every single time I upload, you'll never miss a future Animal Crossing episode or an episode of any other thing that I do on this channel. Also, just a reminder, the official Foot of a Ferret and Island t-shirt is still available at the link in the description along with tons of other cool Foot of a Ferret merch. It's a huge help and I'd really appreciate it. I start up the game and get to see all the save files. Now, I have no idea whose game this was, and even though it's just their first name, I think I'm gonna err on the safe side and keep all that stuff private. So let's just call him, uh, Anthony Padilla. I select Anthony's save file, boot up the game, and... Lord, this game is old. Like I said, this is my first time playing Wild World. The only other Animal Crossing games I've played at all are New Leaf and New Horizons. You know, just one of the most beautiful games ever made. So hopping all the way back to the DS's jaggedy graphics and kinda weird controls, oof, that's a shift. So what are we working with here? All right, all right, it's not bad. We got a pretty standard Animal Crossing house here. Rocking that classic, line the walls with stuff and do nothing else decorating style. There's a couple vanities, a desk, a desk lamp, tape deck, lava lamp, golf bag, no couch, but a bench, a very, very large chess piece, and an oven. I definitely hate this wallpaper and flooring though. Dark blue, vomit green, I feel like I'm living in a pickle jar. I hate pickles. My friend Sarah drinks pickle juice right from the jar, and I hate that. That's why I vandalized her island. So yeah, redecorate the house. That's the first thing I've added to my to-do list. But now, for the main event, let's see the town. I step out of this house I have now claimed ownership of and... Oh, no, no, no. Good lord, this place is a dump. Anthony, what are you doing, man? Look at all these weeds. Who do you think has to pull all these up? Yeah. Me, the guy who randomly bought your old DS game and decided to put all this responsibility on himself for a YouTube video instead of just starting a new save file. Ugh, screw it, I'll get to it later. So let's see, what's next? Whoa! So if you're injured, tragic event, that kind of thing, you're covered, totally. We get the money straight to you, immediately, within a day, at some point, bang! <laughs> well, an otter that was creeping around my house just ran up and screamed at me about insurance. It really is Animal Crossing. Speaking of which, I'm finally starting to run into some of Anthony's old villagers. Looks like the town's pretty packed. Yeah, packed full of jerks. Seriously, the first person I run into is trying to sell me something. The second person I run into is this chicken named Goose who goes, whoa, what's wrong with your face? <coughs> Excuse me? What's wrong with your name? You're no Goose. Stop lying to yourself, you insecure piece of poultry. I just met you and I do not like you. I'm gonna walk away from you now. Hey there, it's me, the ruler of this town who mysteriously disappeared probably around 10 years ago. How are you doing? Hi, I'm ugly. What are you gonna bug me with now? Uh, nothing I could have done could have prepared me for what you just said. I'm very uncomfy. I'm gonna walk away again now. This town is weird, dude. I mean, I had heard Animal Crossing villagers were way more mean in the older games, but I feel like the years of neglect have left these guys a little more irritable than normal. I took a trip to the town hall, was greeted by a pelican named Phyllis, and even she was like, hey, 
What do you want? God, is no one happy in this town? I'm actually speechless, man. Not a single person I've talked to this entire time has been even remotely nice. And that is legit shocking after spending so much time in the new game. The villagers in New Horizons are so nice, it's creepy. Everyone here is just rude, man. <laughs> Screw it, I'm going home. I head back to my house and I manage to get a quick split second of alone time before... Hey, it's Goose. I'm in your house so I can buy your stuff. Okay, what? Is he allowed to do that? Well, apparently he is today, because I just so happened to boot this game up on flea market day, where you can walk into any villager's home and ask to buy their stuff. But at the same time, any villager can barge into your house and try to buy your stuff. So Goose here just waltzes in and is like, hey, sell me your stuff. And I'm just like, I don't like you. So he leaves just for another villager named Chow to show up and be like, I have arrived, sell me your things. And at that point, I just said, Ugh. Fine. And I sold him everything in the house. Sorry about your stuff, Anthony. I needed to make room for things I actually wanted. Like this bed and table someone threw away. And this reel-to-reel -reel player I bought from a bunny with a mustache. And this violin that I only bought because the birds selling it wouldn't sell me their cello. And of course, some better freaking wallpaper and flooring. Now I live in a library with no real books, just fake ones. This is an improvement. Oh, wait, I, I just noticed there's stairs here. We have a second floor, apparently. Let's check it out and... Okay, back outside. I think it's about time I get rid of all these weeds. All the villagers that I don't know or care about have been complaining, so I might as well clean the place up. Here, give me a second. Anthony, fix your town. You're welcome. Now that things are clean, I think it's time to really map out the town and take attendance. So Maiden, oh yeah, I forgot to mention, the town's name is apparently Maiden. Actually, now that I think about it, that also needs to change. I'm gonna just call this a town. Yeah, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. So, a town has a museum, just as empty as I expected, a couple of shops, a town hall, and eight villagers. We already met Goose, Chow, Tipper, Jay, and Gaston, but there's also a duck named Dina, a cat named Punchy, and another duck named Freckles who has literally just moved into town. C can you even imagine that? They probably started the moving process back in like 2009 or something, but then Anthony just shut the game off, never played it again, and now, only now, in 2021, have they finally been able to move in. So, I guess I'm not the only new kid on the block. Welcome to the dump, Freckles. Speaking of moving, I stopped playing for a little while, came back the next day, and found a letter in the mail. Turns out, Goose decided to move away. Dang. Was it something I said? I don't like you. But hey, I got my least favorite villager to leave after just one day of playing. I'd say that's a speed run record for being a bad neighbor. And there's already someone new moving in in their place. They're a super cute, super nice koala named Melba. So I'm gonna call this a win. But I gotta say, one thing I really didn't think about going into this was how little there was to do. I mean, this isn't New Horizons. A bunch of the usual stuff I'd be doing in that game it's just not here. So I'm not really sure what to do. Apparently there's another event day coming up called Lottie Day. I've never even heard of this. I guess it's only in Wild World, but hey, it's something to do. Let's try it out. So Lottie Day is all about the town tune, a little jingle you can customize that gets played at various different points throughout the game. During Lottie Day, the villagers come up with their own songs and will sing them to you, hoping you'll pick their song to be the next town tune. But uh, too bad for them, because there's only one person who gets to write the town tune, and it's me. I already wrote it, man. It was one of the first things I did when I started this game, and it is staying. But. Just for fun and for fairness, I started running around my town talking to everyone so I can hear their songs. Oh, Punchy, that was great. No, Chow, I gotta be honest, I kinda hated it. Gaston, love the mustache, but it's a no from me, man. Freckles, I know you're new here, so I gotta be real with you. I wasn't even paying attention. On and on I went exactly like that until I had crushed the dreams of every single villager in town. You hear that, Anthony? I took over your town, I sold all your stuff, and now I made all your villagers sad. <laughs> I have no idea why I'm being so salty towards Anthony. They literally did nothing. They, they didn't do anything. They traded an old DS game in at a store and I'm just throwing them so much salt for absolutely no reason. Well, at this point, I've done about all I know how to do. I've seen pretty much everything this abandoned town has to offer, but there is one thing I've been avoiding. One very specific place with a very specific person. But I can't wrap things up until I face it. Uh, hey, welcome to Nookway. How can I help you? 
Wait a minute. Have we met before? <laughs> nope. <laughs> Never seen you before in my life. I'm I'm just here to buy a watering can. Okay, bye. Okay. Whew. Okay, that wasn't that wasn't too bad. M- maybe this won't be as bad. What was that? Okay. Just just look at the paper, man. Just just look at the. <gasps> okay. Okay. You're fine, man. You're just being a little. Anything I can help you with. <laughs> All right, see you later. You be sure to come back now. (laughs) We'll be waiting.